Okay guys, I'm here today with Harry Aikens, huge honor for me, no gi, and uh, today he's going to show us here the best attack from side control, and I'm super excited to yeah. Harry. Yeah, so um, lay down on your back, Bernardo. Uh, the reason that I feel that this attack is the best attack from a side control is because in jiu-jitsu, what's happening is we always, when we start to attack, we always want to make sure we're layering our attacks, meaning as I attack... If my opponent defends, which is almost a guarantee he's going to defend, then I can always follow up with something else. So this attack, which is the paper cutter attack, A, it works gi or no gi, and B, if he starts to defend the paper cutter, it automatically leads to other submissions. So he has to give me something else in order to defend this. So let's talk about how I set this up. Normally when I'm cross side, I'm always looking for the underhook, and once I underhook, I always try to put the hand on the side of my head, so now his arm is trapped. It's very difficult for him to bring his arm back in front of my face, right? If I'm just holding his shoulder, he can bring his hand back around, and he can start to bother my face or create a frame. So anytime I underhook, I always put my hand here. Now, if you notice, he still has this arm available. And so one of the things I always try to do is I try to use my hip to neutralize this elbow. So can you stretch your arm? No. Okay. So I will try to jam that arm. Now, it's not always important, but even if his arm is available, even if I haven't jammed this arm, one of the main things I do is I attack this paper cutter. And how I do that is very important. Okay. So one of the most important things for the paper cutter is that I have my opponent looking up at the ceiling. Okay. Because if I try to do this and he turns his chin, it's very difficult. And the other thing too is Trying to do the paper cutter from this side of the body, a lot of times what happens is if he reaches around and grabs my elbow, so if I start to go here and he reaches around, yes, <laughs> now it stops it, right? So I always start my attack with the paper cutter from this side. And what I do is even if he's turning his chin, I lift his chin and then my hand comes around, I cup his shoulder and my elbow kicks out. So turn your chin, Bernardo. No way. So my kicking at my elbow out, now, I'm able to lock his head in place so he can't turn his chin. All I'm gonna do is I just walk my fingers back past him and I drop my weight into his neck. So it's very, very uncomfortable, right? Now, of course, because I'm not killing this arm, he can always defend. What would you do to defend this? Maybe push my elbow with your hand? Yeah, so that's, so like once I start to attack, right? Bridging to the side doesn't always work so well. Try to bridge to the side because your head's trapped. Yes, you see how I can still attack it here? Yeah. But if you push my elbow, yes, that might work. But now I can start to attack this arm. Man, that's beautiful. Right? So, or if he pushes my elbow, push my elbow, I can always pin it. Yeah. And then re-attack with my paper cutter. Right? Man, that's beautiful. Or if he, like I'm attacking here and he pushes it, right? I can sometimes slide my knee inside. Step and over, trap the arm, trap the arm and then I will reattack with the paper cutter. And if you bump into this, if you try to bump, you're going to tap yourself, right? Yeah. So it's it's just an attack that's really readily available, right? Anytime I get to the cross side, I just immediately start to put pressure on the neck. So this is uncomfortable enough yeah. where you kind of have to deal with it, right? You kind of have to do something to deal with it. Yes, you see how you start that to... Gives the right, that's amazing. See? And so now I have maybe this attack or this attack or I'll start to bother, you start to push my arm, or you start to defend, right? If it doesn't work, the defense is going to create an opportunity for another attack. Man, that's beautiful. Right, so. No, and I love it, it's a sequence, you know, like you can get there and then you have so many attacks from there. Yeah, and so that's always so so important for us in jiu-jitsu is first of all, we want to establish control. Second of all, when we start to attack, I know the opponent's going to defend, especially at the high level, right? We have to anticipate that there's going to be some type of defense and so how do we deal with that defense? I can either like pinning it underneath the ground or trapping it between my legs. I can either neutralize the defense. I can kill your defense by trapping your arm. And there's many different ways that I can do that. Or what happens is I can counter attack. So you push with your arm. Now I start to attack the arm that you pushed with or you right. start to attack the other arm, right? And so that's always so important when we talk about finishing is how we layer our attacks together so that as I start to attack, everything you do just makes the situation worse yeah. and worse and worse. Right, and I love how everything was trapped, you know, so I can't, I couldn't move this arm, and you were already waiting for me to move the other arm and to trap it, or, oh, this was really good, and then the choke was really tight. It's really, really, really uncomfortable. Really yeah. yeah, and you were very heavy on my chest, so I couldn't move, so. And that, that, awesome. that uh, keeping your chin 
the the uh, the concept of kicking the elbow out to control the chin from turning is super important too, yep. right? So that you can't defend because a lot of times when you go for the paper cutter, if the person just turns their head now, yep. all the pressure is on the muscle and not where we really want it on the throat. Yeah. And uh, guys, Henry has an entire instruction all about side control attacks, which includes the paper cut. Yes. Right? And it's going to be at bgfanatics.com very soon, so make sure to check it out. And thanks so much, Henry. This thanks for awesome. now. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.